Alright, so this is going to be a quick video. I have made the decision on my own to retire the series, as in, like, there's a button called retire, which you can literally just end the game right there. And whoever, basically the winner is the highest in points, so that means Rom's going to win. But yeah, I don't see any chance of me winning, and to be honest, there's no real point in continuing to play the game, because other times where, like, I got knocked knocked out, or I did poorly. That was like the Spain game, which I had my saves taken like later in the game, and I was kind of mainly more, I expanded way too rapidly. This one I expanded perfectly fine. Well, except the one settlement that got, or save that got taken, but in the Spain game, I actually had a chance of winning a victory, and this one I really don't. Because in the Spain gameplay, I was making more than all the RAA. I had like 250, 300 gold per turn. Everyone else was like funding the warfare, but now pretty much Rom. I don't think he's stoppable at this point. Like, yeah, he is like, oh, Germany's actually won in manufactured goods. That's actually surprising. But, oh, wait, what? Persia's won in pop now? The capital is 26. Rome's is 29, though, so whatever. Their second team must be good. Alright, yeah, so I just don't really see a way to win. I don't think it's worth playing the series, or continuing to. But, so, the retire button's right here. Just retire from the game. Oh, I'm actually not on last. That's surprising. But I think Harold is on four cities, actually, now? Yeah, five. He's on five. Alright. I don't know all the, what all the R's on. I'll be able to check with the victory screen, but... It's ultimate... So that, like it says, ends the game. I actually wasn't let. Rome had 39% approval. I don't know what they were doing. They, I think they had political unhappiness, because I think they were order. I was at least in pop through GMP and soldiers and literacy. The only ones that weren't less were in land, which Catherine, she, I think she was doing the two city. No, she had her two cities in the old world and two in the new, so understandable. But let's look at the tops. Persia, top, and pop. That's not bad for them. Germany top in manufactured goods and literacy. Siam top in crop yield GMP and land. Rome top in soldiers. And then cat. Well, probably like I'd say I was sixth with sixty nine percent. So that means probably five of the people are one hundred percent. Because the average is kind of skewed by me and Rome. <laughs> so. Yeah, let's go Nero. Oh, I actually didn't get Dan Quile. That's not that bad. All right, so replay. I could, I just kind of want to see the map here. Let's see. So. And uh, oh, I forgot I moved. Was I? I think I was the only one that moved. I don't think the AI moves there sometimes. But uh, yeah. So. This is more so for deity, but if you get a bad start on deity, you should kind of just like quit the game and try a new one, because it's deity. This doesn't really apply to immortal, but I'd say I had a pretty bad start. Persian, kind of everyone had a bad start, except for maybe uh, Augustus, because he kind of had a good start. Everyone else was kind of like just, just, it's, this wasn't really a good map for a good start. Last map, I had an amazing start. See, so everyone's getting up their second cities. I just want to first, I'll pause the first one so you start changing hands. So once the first city got to change hands. Oh no, oh Zhang. So, the first city that changed hands was Catherine's. Or no, that was originally Rom City. It just got taken by Catherine. At this point, yeah. <laughs> uh... Harold isn't doing well. He's on two. Uh, Darius is doing okay. He's on four. Uh, Rome's doing okay. He's on five. I'm doing okay at this point. I'm on four. Uh, Egypt's doing poorly. They're on two. I don't know why these two don't expand for some reason. Catherine got a fourth, so I guess that's okay. Germany is six. That's okay. And then Rom is just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
But then tons of cities changed. Oh, that was a city-state that was captured by Catherine. So it must have been liberated. Or that it was captured. No, it was captured by Rom. And then Catherine liberated it. And then Rom got Harold's city. Rom got uh, Germany city. Rome settled there. Next one, just right below them, Jesus. And then raise it to the ground. They captured, they built a new city in their old city location, and captured one of Catherine's cities. And they built one city on a crappy peninsula. They got my city, so that leaves me on three. Rome built a new one. So at this point, the three superpowers of the world who haven't really are kind of at this point Rom. He lost quite a few cities, but he also gained quite a few. Rome, they're just doing well. Same with Darius. So it's kind of these three. It's up to them. And then Bismarck, it's those four at this point. Me, uh, Ramses, Catherine, and Harold are kind of out of the game. That's when I sell this city. And then Germany should settle. Too new at this point. Alright, so by the time Germany sell this city, they got one more on the inland. Rome got two on the southern island. And then there are quite a few settlements in the New World. Germany got one in the New World. I didn't notice that. Oh, no, I did. I can see it on the map, just right here. So, Germany got one here. Catherine got her third up, which is inland. And then Persia eventually gets the third city in the New World. Four, actually. So at the very last turn, Rome actually gets a city in the New World. So yeah, pretty much I I don't think anyone could have won but Rom. Because Persia, they were going for culture. Or at least that's what it looked like. Because uh, they had the most tourism. But they weren't beating Rom by a lot. So, and I assume Rom has more culture since he has quite a few cities. So that's only a... That's a logical conclusion. There are a few other interesting ones, like Germany had the most production. That's probably because of their uh, unique bank improvement, the ha or their unique uh, building replacement, which replaces the bank. It's the Hans, which gives most production for cities that have trade routes with city states. And since he has two city states directly bordering him, then he could probably just send all his trade routes to those and get tons of production. What was interesting was Persia's pop, and somehow they still maintained tons of happiness by settling four cities in their new world. These two were fairly good. They had a high pop. I, unfortunately, I can't see, but I do know that they were like 7 and 11, I think. Yeah, so that's interesting. And they're also going, generally going for culture. Rome had the largest military, which is also quite interesting. That's partially because they attacked me. Or... Uh, they, I fended off their attack quite easily, actually. They, they were probably going after Harold next day, to be honest. But, and they also sold a few cities, like a few colonies, later in the game. They, were, they probably would have eventually like taken some new world cities, like maybe Harold's or Catherine's, or even Germany's. Oh, Germany got two up on. Were they the exact same turn? Oh no, they were. I just didn't notice their second one. or Well, I can only see their second one. I just didn't notice their first. They actually had three. They had one on some crappy island in the middle of the ocean, and then two on, like, some other crappy islands there on the coast. Yeah, there was... It's, it's safe to say that I think Rom would have won this one. I mean, I don't really see anyone else winning. Well, I mean, what's what could have happened is, like, Rom's pretty much denied access from the New World. He is like, I'm not even sure he has a coastal sea. These two might be coastal. I know damn well for sure that none of his others are. So I don't think he will have gotten to the New World. If someone like Persia, who has four cities, or Germany, who has three, if they like conquered the New World and kind of like completely colonized it, maybe they stood a chance. And Rome, of course. Don't count out Rome. They're a bit behind in tech because they warded with me for like 25, 30 turns. But that's besides the point. Anyway, I'll probably start a new series. 
The reason, one of the reasons I decided to end this was this had one total view across all six videos, so I mean, and it's been up for like two and a half, three weeks, so it's not really like the most popular, I don't really have a popular series. Some of my, it's really inconsistent, like, back like, I'd say like a month or two ago, like the first videos of each of my series would get like 10, 15-ish views. But yeah, now I'm kind of like, you no, know, I'm doing like the same thing over and over. I might start a Civ 6 series soon, I don't know. But first I want to beat Civ 5 on a mortal, or at least one game. And then at that point I'll consider starting Civ 6. Or I'll consider giving it a chance. So. Or maybe I should wait until the DLC for Civ 6 comes out, that's probably a better idea. But yep. Yeah. Uh. That's it for today's video. Tomorrow it is then. Uh-oh. Wrong command. There we go.